that's so cool all right so today we're gonna be watching the block 24 um apparently it's gonna be about the new 2006 rework and a couple more reworks that will that he will be going over today it's gonna be kind of like a live reaction video that i did last time but yeah we got 60 minutes of content to watch so i guess let's get started Hello everybody, welcome to another dev blog. We're going to be showing off, as per the title, SCP-2006. Our developer, Cornosius, has been working very hard on this SCP for the last month and a half or so. And I think, personally, this is one of the coolest SCPs I've ever seen on Roblox. So there's right, SCP-2006 in the corner. We have made SCP-2006 much more appropriate for lore. Uh, same monkey form as last time. He has much better wandering now he actually wanders properly he'll avoid walls and you know things so he won't just slam up against terrain he will do emotes and idols occasionally as you can see we're going to let our funny 035 man out of the cell it's not too five so okay. what i'm going to begin now showing off is some of the cross testing capabilities oh, this cross is Chrono, by the way okay. the uh, the developer who actually made scp 2006 so what he's going to do now is showcase SCP-2006's mimicking ability. Oh, he's like looking SCP at him? SCP-2006 is observing. It's like, oh my, there's no way. Oh my. If you bring in an O25, it's like a CI in like Breach O25 to Onyx, then that's going to be so overpowered for like Breaching 2006. Dude, that's so cool. And he is now transformed and he is going to come and chase me to kill me. And he's a lot more, f he's a lot faster too. It's these same abilities and he's like a little, I think he might be a little bit faster than North 5 or maybe the same, but. So in the 035 forms, by the way, you can do both comedy and tragedy variants on 2006. So they will change based on what type of mask the person is wearing. SCP-2006 will detransform after taking enough damage. Oh, after so taking enough, oh. It, so now you can shoot him in order to like kind of make him calm. That's to cool. Make him go back into his passive state. We have SCP-008. Chrono is okay. also demonstrating for us as well. So the zombie, okay. Oh, Interesting. SCP-2006 is already observing 008 here. Looking, okay, that's really cool though. He's like a, he's like a zombie, oh, a dude. Zombie. He's transformed into a large class D zombie, as you can see. Now we are a normal 008 zombie. He will continue to go around and infect people as 008. As you can see, when you're a zombie, you can only say uh, things like bra. Oh, that's, that's like the, that's like able, where you can only say like enables. Like you, you can only like talk in Abel's language. You can only speak like zombie words or something so first impression 2006 that is that is really cool that's gonna be really cool for cross testing so cross, i feel like cross testing is gonna be a lot bigger of a factor for testing inside of scp side roleplay that's really cool so there are multiple scps that um 2006 can be currently influenced by the current ones that we have made are 017 457 035 and 008 017 and 457 are locked up here currently scp 2006 is now observed how are we going to test that though like that's going to be difficult to test for for 2006 you have to like bring you have to bring like 017 all the way from his containment all the way over to 2006 which is that's going to be very, that's going to be, that's going to be quite difficult for cross testing, especially, but I feel like it has a bit more functionality for like CIs because they can get like a very OP 2006 transformation and then they can cause like more chaos inside of the site. We're going to begin his transformation. Let's see. He has now what? into a purple version of SCP-017. SCP-2006 will Gosh. revert, so we're going to give him a couple pop shots here with the M249. Okay, so it takes like two M249 shots in order to do that? Okay. He's attempting to scare us here. This is his, like his radius zone, by the way, for his scaring. If you're within that radius after he becomes raged, as you can see, he has a 33% chance of transforming. So now he is in his clown form. Oh, he's, he's gonna like hit you with a hammer? With and what? He spritzes us with his water gun while also fall over. My sprint is currently not working because I messed with my uh, teams and respawning. But as you can see, he's going to pummel me over and over. He's going to keep spritzing me with water too to make me fall over. All of the different forms have their own special abilities and effects. Uh, subject adding more forms in the future, but for now we have four SCP transformations and five mimicry transformations. I'm only going to be showing off four of the mimicry transformations because the fifth one it's actually a secret. Okay, secret. so now we are- You like bring 2006 to the Saul Goodman poster and he turns to Saul Goodman. That's, that'd be epic. He's going to observe. In the transformation process. 
Oh, a blue version? Now he's turned into a large blue version of SCP-457, who is also quite fast. This speed is not, he's not going to remain this fast. 2006 version of 457 can grow and shrink, just like the normal 457 can. And he glows a dark blue fire instead of a, a red fire. That's cool. So you can have like two 457s just running around Connex. That kind of brings more attention to 2006 as a like dangerous SCP because usually when he's in his docile form, it takes a while for him to like transform. Effectively, bridge is going to be a bit more complicated in the future. So yeah. I'm now going to show off the other forms. We're going to show off Frankenstein form real quick. I'm going to come up to him, bring the picture to him, I'm gonna show him the picture. He's going to analyze it. Frankenstein's ability is he shoots lightning and punches. Oh, he's going to zap you with lightning as he chases you. And if he attempts to scare you, if you're still within this bubble after the first attempt, he will get mad. But if you leave, he'll just laugh. He's going to begin another transformation here. So that's a new one. That's a new one. going to attempt see. to suck out our soul. He's going to suck out the soul. You can see his antenna here. If they are yellow, that means he's currently on transformation cooldown. That means he cannot rage, get mad, or transform again. Oh, that's nice. But see, now that it's back to blue. So that's like a little, that's a nice little indicator. Now that means he can be that's kind of like, that's kind of like 049 with the uh, eye feature. Oh, there he goes. Let's see, uh -oh. what he decided. He turns into Jason. Good, Jason. that's the last form I had to show off. Now Jason. No, he throws throw knives. knives. Oh my God. He's going to throw a knife into my back. The knife throwing. And if he gets close, he'll slash us with his machete. New melee weapons. Oh my. All forms, as you can see, have different attacks and different special abilities. We are going to be releasing this update in two parts, by the way, just so everybody is aware. We're going to be releasing Tram and SCP-2006 and a couple other things. And to prevent the update from like coming out in one or two weeks, we just rather release the update in two parts so you guys can get um, the Tram in 2006 and everything else first so you guys aren't waiting. The timeline just hasn't lined up for how we wanted it, but medical is progressing very good. Probably only, I'd say, a maximum of two more weeks to finish medical, I'd say, middle of July. It'll have to be thoroughly QA tested. I'll take my word on that. The updates come out when we deem them ready and appropriate for release. We have to do lots of bug testing and fixing if when the bugs do inevitably appear. Here we are at the end of the video to conclude. We are going to be releasing the update in two parts. First part will contain the major performance improvements we've been working on the 173 and the other scripts that we've optimized lag and servers should actually be reduced by a, a decent amount because we found a couple scripts that were being very very stupid with the amount of resources that they were hogging we eventually re release medical medical will also come with its own performance fixes as well so the main parts of the first part of the update will be scp 2006 the scp 173 and the tram those are kind of like the three big portions of the first part and then for the second part will pretty much primarily be medical and then anything else chrono and um shadow end up working on oh nine oh playableness what hold on okay so this is <laughs> there's a playable sp 999 now this is like this is like a friendly 076 or something i think shadow dev actually joined one of my streams and became sp 999 so that's interesting he might have he might have been an sp 999 i'm not sure so there's a active skill helpful cheer quickly revitalizes all who are around you so it's kind of like 999's current like passive ability and then you have shield of love fully heals nearby players and applies the goop shield effect that reduces damage by 75 percent for four seconds the beginning process of scp-999 <coughs> has not been finished yet so you can see we have heavy from tf2 here it's just a placeholder image uh and finishing scp-99 probably for medical will be done and in um scp-999 we plan on being just a small little you know just fun little thing for people to enjoy you have two skills that you can use so you can use your uh helpful cheer skill which is just the scp-999 like healing skill so it will heal all the players around you in a radius. Your shield of love skill. I need other players to kind of show off the skills here, but when you use your shield of love skill, it'll make other players around you for four seconds will kind of get an orange shield on their body. It'll instantly increase all their health to max and it will protect them from 75% of all damage sources for about four seconds. Wait, hold on. Can you not get one shot by um, Tesla Gates when you have shield of love? I gotta test that, bro. You guys will see the new medical stuff when the update drops. None of it will be accessible. You will not be able to join the team. And part of the medical center that isn't done has been closed off. But the tram area in here and everything else 
this is all available to come and look at. So, uh, that's all I really have to show off right now, guys. Um, when medical cool. is in a state that I can show it off, there'll be a whole dev blog dedicated to medical and its features, which I am really excited to show off because medical has been a long time in the works. I hope all of you have a great day. I hope you guys like this update when it drops. Two mouth. I hope it Dude, is bug free it. to the best of our ability. We're going to do good testing to make sure that doesn't happen, but have a good day, everyone. This is Melstead signing off. Man, that's all the death log. And I will definitely be doing another reaction video for 25. That's going to be really cool. We're going to have those new med kits and new bandages and bags. That's so going to be really nice. But yeah, that's the new dev vlog. Hope you guys did enjoy that video. Thank you, Melstead and the devs for working on these updates for us. Uh, the dev vlog will be linked in the top of the description if you want to watch the full uncut version. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, see ya.